Hello, good evening. Okay. How are you? Fine. Oh. Okay, thank you. Okay, ready for the last class of the week? We are in almost ending the course. Okay, Adriana Beatriz. No. Ana Mercedes. Claribel Esmeralda. My God. Are you there? Daniel Oswaldo. Present. Okay, thank you. Dora Stephanie. Present. Okay. Eloisa Abigail. Gloria Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Henry Oswaldo. Um, Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Excellent. Jonathan Humberto. Jose Angel. Catherine Stephanie. Present. Excellent. Kimberly Natalie. Present. Okay. Lorena Araceli. Present. Okay. Lourdes Paola. No. Mario Antonio. Present. Okay. Marvin Alberto. Present. Okay. Romeo Antonio. Present. Thank you. Um, Ruth del Carmen. Present teacher. Excellent. Veronica Elizabeth. Present. Excellent. Victor Manuel. Present. Excellent. Xiomara Judith. Present. Thank you. And Catherine Aviles. Present. Okay. Adriana, present teacher. Ay, Adriana. Eloisa, también. Okay. Jose Ángel, también teacher. Ah, you are late. Ángel. Hello, hello. Okay. Aha, llega, llega. Hello, Henry. Hey, Ana Mercedes, Claribel Esmeralda, Jonathan Humberto, Lourdes Paola. No? Muy bien. 
Eloisa. Yes, sí, ya le puse. Vaya. We are going to start with the short review of sports. Ya lo vimos, pero vamos a hacer un brief review, a brief practice. Vamos a ver qué tal están. Si se los aprendieron o no. And there are more, but I think you can do it. Let me show you. Yeah. Do you think you can? Creen que lo podemos hacer? What sports do you remember? Okay, tell me the number and the name of the sport that the ones that you know. Ninguno. El primero es el 13. ¿Cuál? Ah, football, soccer. 13. Vamos a ver cómo que 13. 13. Yes. ¿Qué? Es el 5. Baseball. 5. Baseball. What else? Vaya, vamos poniendo el chequecito. Ok. What else? Uh, American football is 8. Eight, yes, correct. Hurry up. Basketball, 17. 17. Okay. Volleyball is one. One, yes. Golf is nine. Nine, okay. Gymnastic is eighteen. Eighteen, okay. Se me pierde lápiz. Where are you? Okay. Fifteen is el tenis. Fifteen. Are you sure? It's not tennis, 15. 16 tennis. Ah, 16. Ah, 16. 16, yes. 14 is high. Which one? 14. Is? Ice hockey. Ice hockey. hockey. Okay. Rigby and running is two. Fifteen? Rigby. No, it's not rugby. Remember the movie with Matt Damon. Oh, it's badminton. Fifteen. Yes. Fifteen is badminton. Okay. Uh, surfing is 10. Excellent. Running is 2. It's swimming. Okay, for tennis is 7. My mm. primer. Primero me dijeron. Running is 2. 2. Ajá. Uh -huh. Después me dijeron swimming. Which number? Um, 19. 19, ok. Y de aquí me dijeron otro por acá. Boxing is four. Four, boxing, ok. Rock, fiending is six. Is seven. 
rock climbing. Five. Esta. Yes, six. Rock climbing, okay. Cycling. Rock bean, cereal tree. Cycling. Mm. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. Repeat. Rugby, her tree. Three, no. No. Three, yes, skin. Skin, yes. Skin. Correct. Ayer lo vimos hace. No me acuerdo. <laughs> well, Vamos, todavía uh, faltan algunos. Cycling. 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 Bowling. 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 Uh -huh. Bowling. Bowling. Cycling number 12. Table tennis and cycling. Correct. 12. Cycling. Yes. 12. Ah. Uh -huh. Which is this? No. This is the rugby. This is oh. the ruby. Okay, ruby, it's, it's similar, a kind of similar to American football. Okay, it's very violent. And we play with a ball. It, it's teamwork. Estria and ruby. Okay, yes, excellent. Not too bad. Okay. Then we have uh, this part. Vimos las collocations de go and play, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo íbamos a utilizar play? Uh, play lo íbamos a ocupar cuando en el deporte ocupábamos algún balón. Yes. Even if they are different or rear, like the hook, I think, in hockey, or um, the ball on badminton, which is different. Okay. And what? And here we have more examples. Okay, we have play badminton, play baseball, basketball, football, hockey, ping pong. Soccer, squash, tennis, volleyball. Ok, para todos esos que utilizan una ball, vamos a utilizar play. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar go? Habíamos dicho. Go lo vamos a utilizar cuando el deporte se realiza en un área específica o áreas especializadas para él mismo. Yes. Or en, como al exterior. ¿Ok? Y también aquí nos da otra pista que esta no la vimos ayer. But they have an ING ending. Entonces, cuando terminan en ING, vamos a utilizar go. This implies an action or a movement. ¿Ok? Uh, utilizar el ING. Entonces nos quedaría go bowling, go camping, cycling, dancing, fishing, uh, golfing, hiking, ice skating, running, scuba diving, and snowboarding. Ok. Ah, y el que no vimos fue do. Y dice que este lo vamos a usar with sports or activities in which we don't need a ball. Okay, you don't use a ball. You, um, for example, do aerobics, do exercise, do push-ups, do sit-ups, do yoga, and do a warm-up. Okay, este sería for do. Questions? All clear. All, all clear. Excellent. Muy bien. So, today 
we are going to start with the conversation. Can we start? I have volunteers to read. Volunteer. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, excellent. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. A what? talent contest. A talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, what do you want to? Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can end the contest? Sure, why not? Okay, let's, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, thank you. No les puse el audio, but you did well. Only remember the pronunciation of can, which is the purpose of the exercise. It's like the can from Barbie. It's with a schwa, but in general. Okay, can and can't. Okay, or cannot. It has three different ways to write the same. Can't, cannot, or O sea, cannot together and cannot separate. Okay. Let's see. The platform. Okay, esa es la parte donde está la pronunciación and some and a brief explanation about the uses of can. But in this part, okay, we have the video of the conversation. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Can you listen? Yes. No. Okay. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? 
Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. And now, example. Okay, now two more volunteers to read the conversation. Volunteer. Okay, good. And another volunteer. Me, teacher. Excellent. Me, teacher. Okay, Veronica and Ruth. Go. Okay. Oh, oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing or low, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Only the at all. I can't sing at all. Okay, all was good. Okay, I need to more, but um, Victor Manuel and Marvin. Yeah. Can you start, Victor? Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent concert. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no. I can sing a lot, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest? Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, thank you. That a talent contest. A talent contest. Okay, questions about this conversation? No, no? What is the meaning of at all? Apenas. It's para nada, at all. Okay, I can sing. <laughs> Uh, pen, no, I can sing at all. Es como, no, no le hago a eso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Teacher, what yeah. is the, the mm -hmm. meaning of uh, talent contest? En su concurso, concurso de talento. Concurso, ah. Yes. A ta contest es un concurso. A talent contest. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Y luego tenían ahí el video de la pronunciation. And we have the grammar focus. Pero let's see. Okay, this part. Okay, we have um, can, it's a modal verb. Okay, it's a modal verb. Which means it, we can use it, but no as the principal verb or the main verb into the sentence, sino que como un tipo de verbo auxiliar. But also, bueno, aquí están 
para todo lo que lo podemos usar. But uh, we are going to focus in using to express an ability. Okay, an ability means something that you can do or something that you can't do. For example, I can speak for languages, which is true because I know Salvadorian Sign Language, American Sign Language, English, and Spanish. So, an ability. But, um, also, you can apply with sports or activities, chores, home chores, okay, like iron, uh, cook, uh, but nowadays it's not an ability, sino que dicen que para ser una persona funcional, you need to do those things, right? So it's not an ability, but it also can apply with, with those. Uh, you can use it to make request. A request is, is when you need something, okay? When you need your children do something like uh, order the room or clean the table. But a request is a polite way to ask something. Entonces, sería como una forma... Uh, for example, at work, can you, can you hand me the pen, please? Can you bring me some water, please? Okay, eso sería una request. Then we have an offer. You can make an offer. So you can offer your help. You can offer yourself to do something. Okay, can I help you? Can I clean the table? Can I bring you something? Okay. And also to express a possibility. Okay, something that can occur in the well, in the present. Smoking can cause cancer. And then we have for permission, but in an informal way. No como una manera formal, sino como una informal. Permission. Can I use your book, please? Can I borrow your pencil, please? And obviously the negative form, eh, which also means that you can, you are not allowed, no está permitido, not allowed to do something. For example, you can smoke here. You can laugh here. You can scream here. Okay? Things that are no allowed to do. In general, it's clear. Y nos vamos a enfocar, enfocar como les digo, into the abilities. Este es como el panorama general. But... It's clear. Yes or no? I hope yes. Too much. Vaya, no, no, no se me ocupen. Vamos con las abilities mejor, vaya. Enfoquémonos ahí. Vaya, vamos a utilizar abilities and sports. We are going to combine two, the two of them. Y let's do this exercise. Okay, first one. Can you, y tenemos esta de aquí. Vaya, ¿se recuerdan que vimos las collocations? Vamos a usar aquí algunas collocations. Um, no. Can you play hockey? Yes, thank you, Mercedes. Can you 
play hockey? Can she this sport? Go I go hiking? No. Aquí sería solamente el, el the, the action, the sport. Uh, snowing. Snowboarding or snowboarding or skiing. Snowboarding. Yes. Skiing. Skiing. Can she skin? Okay. Next. Can they? Can can they practice karate? Mm. Do. Do. Correct. Can they do karate? Can they In this one? Jumping. Aquí está ya. Can you? Can you? Jump. Can you jump? Okay. Can Tom go cycling? Go cycling or cycling? Okay. Can he play tennis? Aquí sí, muy bien. Play tennis. Next, las que están a la par. Can do gymnastics. Can nos falta el sujeto. Can she do? No, that's do or does. Das. Das. ¿Qué dicen los demás? <laughs> No le dije esa parte. Sí, no, le dije. no, no le dije. I have a question for this. Tengo una duda existencial. ¿Cómo? <risa> Yo eso iba a preguntar. Los iba a regañar, pero no me acuerdo si le dije o no. Well, no, no. <risa> en, eh, cuando usamos can, no, creo que no le dije. Cuando usamos can, no necesitamos cambiar, vamos a usar el verbo en infinitivo, ¿ok? No necesitamos agregar la es y por ende tampoco el auxiliar, no necesitamos modificarlo. ¿Ok? Si se fijaron eh, los, ah, eh, quiero ver, no, no hemos visto los ejemplos todavía, but eh, van, can y luego el verbo en forma infinitiva, pero sin el tú, sino que que um, independientemente del sujeto, así ah, lo vimos en el video, pero no decía como explícitamente, pero ahí estaba. Este que siempre, no importa el sujeto, vamos a utilizar el verbo en infinitivo. No necesitamos cambiarlo, entonces tampoco el auxiliar lo vamos a cambiar. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría esto? She can do gymnastics. Can she do gymnastics? Can she do? Okay. And the answer? Yes, she can. Yes, she can. Okay. Next. Can he? Esta no la vimos, creo. But you know, I say is skating. No. Yes, line skating. Yes, line skate, line rolling skating, line skating. Yes, can he line skating? Yes. I can. Mm. Yes, he can. <laughs> yes, he. I do too, and I know you do, but yes, he can. Can 
weekend. Day. They dance. Yes, they can. 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 Okay, this one. Can he, can he, can he do karate? Can, can he do? Ya, ya le agarraron la onda, ya ven. Yes, he can. Yes, he can, correct. Can. Can he play can basketball? He play basketball? Excellent. Yes. Yes, he can. He can. Yes, he can. He can. And the last one. Can you run? Yes. Yes, I can. I see. Muy bien. Ahí es en primera persona. <laughs> okay. Questions in this part? ¿Cómo lo sintieron esta parte? Yo tenía una duda nada más con lo que acaba de aclarar de los verbos que no se modificaban. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso siempre ha sido verdad con el modo. Con el cuando can. Es un sport. Ajá, can. No, con el can. Es porque estamos ah, okay. usando el modo con cuando nuestra oración lleve cualquier verbo modal, cualquier verbo auxiliar, no vamos a modificar el verbo, el verbo principal. Okay. Okay, entonces, más adelante van a ver, van a ver otros verbos modales como might, eh, como eh, cual, should, y hay más. Entonces, siempre que usamos un modal verb, nuestro, nuestro main verb, el verbo principal, no se modifica. Ok, thank you. Ok. Por lo demás, clear. Like your chat. Muy clear. <laughs> All clear. I hope so. Okay, let's continue. You've got mail. Okay, here we have the ex the exercise, but only let me check if we have something here. Ah, nos falta ver examples. You have to give me examples. Okay, examples. With estos son esos los que vamos a hacer hoy. Right. Give me sentences as positive statements using can. Give me examples, please. Orally. Speak. You seem very well. Repeat, you, please. You can seem very well. Thank you. Yes. Okay. I can oh. play basketball. Okay, I can play basketball. Hurry up, hurry up. Give me a... Yes? I can draw, draw a different pictures. I can... Draw, 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 and 
paint different pictures. Okay, I can draw and paint. Okay, different pictures, okay. I can dance very well. I can. Casi no le escucho. Dance. dance. I can dance. Okay, I can dance very well. Okay, we have to see, but we will trust you. Romeo. I can speak English. Very well. You can. Yes, Ruth. He can. He can what? He can speak English very well. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, he can. Victor. I can do origami. Okay. Interesting. Henry. No tiene batería. Okay. I can speak now. No, ese es en negativo. Eh, Xiomara. Adriana, did you give me your example? Marvin también me hace falta, Gloria. Un montón que me hacen falta. Vaya, vamos con los negatives. Los que no han hablado van a empezar a hablar. Now using can't, negative, or cannot. Volunteer means. Okay. I can't I can't sing very well. But it's the same. Give me another example. No se vale. You are copy. I can't play video games. Okay. Yes, Stephanie. My brother can drive a motorcycle, but he can't Drive a car. But he can in la segunda. My brother can't ride. Sería. Can't ride a motorcycle, but he can drive a car. A theater. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Adriana. Can you give me more examples, Marvin? Can I can play dancing. Repeat, please. I can't dancing. I can't dance. dance. Verbo en infinitivo. I can't dance. Why? No la dejan. She can cook. Okay. She can cook. She can't. She can't cook. So she can't get married. More examples. Eloisa. My sister can do makeup. Can't. Uh, do makeup. Okay. I'm not sure how to use makeup. I. Voy a investigar. I'm curious about it. Como casi no la uso. I makeup. I. I think it's where. I don't remember. I think it's. I'm. I'm not sure if, if it is do, pero le voy a dar igual and I tell you tomorrow. No, on Monday. <laughs> on Monday. Okay, now 
questions. Recuerde que on questions we have to change the position. We are going to start with the modal verb. We are going to start with can. Then you have to use uh, the subject and the verb. Eso sería para las yes no question. Okay, give me examples of yes no question. Or is it all? All of you. Can you climb trees? Can you climb trees? Okay. Can you play the violin? Can you play the violin? Okay, remember the intonation for questions. Como era para preguntas cerradas. Era up o era down. Se lo vieron en el módulo pasado. Yes, right? You can drive. Can you can you drive up? Okay. Mm -hmm. Y empezamos con el modal verb. Marvin, Romeo, wake up. Can you cook or cook? Can you cook? Okay. Intonation. Remember intonation. Can you cook? Can you watch TV? English. Can you watch TV? Can you speak English? Okay. Can you play tennis? Can you play tennis? Okay. Intonation. Eloisa, Xiomara, Catherine. Can you swim in? Can you swim sin el ING? Can you survive? Can you? Can you survive? Porque eso se compara, o sea, cut, creo que era. No lo entiendo. No lo entiendo. Repeat. Can you cut hair? Creo que eso se decía cortar. Cortar pelo. Ah, cut. Can you cut hair? Hair. Cut. Cut hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can you wash the dishes? Okay. Eso sería una request. Can you wash the dishes, please? Because it's not an ability. No es una habilidad. Hoy dicen que si es un adulto funcional, you can do the, the home course, right? So it's not okay. an ability. Mm -hmm. You can swim. Can you? Can, can swim. Can you swim? Can you swim? Okay, can you swim? Muy bien. Can you sing? Can you sing? Okay. Muy bien. Max, max o menos, max o menos. I need more fluency. Y todavía hay unos que no hablaron. Catherine Avilés, me faltó. Romeo. Are you frozen, Romeo? <laughs> okay, ah, vaya, let's do the exercise. And that will be the last. Gabriela is talking about things she can 
and can't do. Okay, remember we're focusing on ability. Okay, complete the sentences following the example. I can't draw. Okay, number two. I, I can act. Can. I can act. Okay. Number three. I, I can't. Can. Can. Can't. I can't sing. sing. Okay. Four. I can. Um, I can fix cars. cars. I can fix cars. Excellent. Number five. I can. I can play tennis. Okay. I can play tennis. Can right? Yes. I'm curious about the face. Ah, oh my God. It's the same size. Okay, number six. I, I can. can. I ice Okay, I can ice skate. I go on ahead and repeat. I can't ice skate. I can't. Can't. I can't ice skate very well. Ice skate. I skate. Va como junto. Ice skate. I skate. Yes. Number seven. I, I can, can, I can I play. play the piano. Okay, yes. And eight. I can I can't cook at all. But, uh, can't cook I can't cook I at can. all. I can't cook at all. Okay. En coro se le vamos a decir ya todo. <laughs> yes. This is session five. Okay. Let's see the word power. We have five more minutes. Questions? I think we need to practice more. Let's see, we have mm. Mm. no, this is an a listening activity. Okay, so let's do this part. We have the word power. Or do you have questions? Questions? The uses of can and can't? No question. No question. Ah, saben lo que no hicimos? Questions with double H words. Solo hicimos yes, no questions. Let's do some examples with double H words. Okay, sería el mismo formato, solo que iniciamos con la double H word. And then the and model, subject, and verb. Okay, give me your example. Can you type it, please? Porque casi no le oigo, la escuché por ahí. Okay, give me more examples. Using double H words. Who can repair my cell phone? Okay, who can repair my cell phone? When can you see? 
When can you? See. See me? When can you see me? When can you see me? Sí, ¿verdad? De ver. Eh, sí, cantar. Ah, sí. when can you sing? Ok, sí. when can you sing. Ok. When, when can we have breakfast? When can we have breakfast? Yes. Ángel. Uh, what can you do for dinner? <laughs> okay. What can you do for me? Mercedes. Where do you practice aerobics? Okay, where? ¿Y dónde está el Ken? <laughs> oh, where we can swim? Okay, where we can swim, yes. Marvin, Victor, Daniel. When, when can I go to work? When can I... Mm, okay. Remember, we are focusing on abilities. Algo más, porque ir a trabajar es como algo, no, o sea, it's not an ability. Think and give me another example, Victor. Yes, ¿quién me iba a dar el ejemplo? Where... Where can I do? No, where can I? I who? Where can I run? Okay, where can I run? Okay, Xiomara, Catherine. When you can run with me. Okay, when you can run with me. Okay, excellent. When can I learn to drive? When can I again, please? Uh, I learn, Liam, okay. Liam, yeah, so bright. When, repeat again, when? When can I learn to drive? Learn, okay, when learn. can I learn to drive? Okay, when, when can I learn to drive? Okay, yes. Three more examples and we go. But give me good examples. Henry is missing. Marvin. When can you go play soccer? When can repeat Gloria, please? When can do you Play, go, no, wait. Sin el do, sin el do. Uh -huh. When can you play soccer? When can you play soccer? Okay. What can you do for me? Ok, yes. Ok, todavía me faltaron, but... Ok, it's time. Ok, see you on Monday. Ok, see you on Monday. Try to advance on the platform. Remember, you have to complete until the 50% of section 5. Ok, see you on Monday. Get dressed. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.